My name is Will Schrader. I go by the handle Twitter handle Harmjoy. I'm a security researcher and red teamer for a company called SpectreOps in, in the United States. Uh, I've been in security for about four or five years. I uh, kind of got into it and you know, we, we would do security assessments where you go to clients, you know, try to break in and then tell them how to fix things. And it was interesting for a while and then I started building, kind of building tools. Um, and that's really how I started to get into PowerShell because it's such a powerful, awesome language. And uh, we started building kind of some offensive and defensive tool sets to facilitate our jobs and how we actually do engagements. I started in early 2014. So, you know, started writing kind of terrible, terrible code, but uh, it's, it's gotten a lot better now. Uh, back in 2014, there was, you know, a couple situations, actually one that I'm speaking of uh, here at the conference of, you know, a common task that we might do, to figure out how we might be able to escalate privileges on a system or something. I was doing it all by hand, then all of a sudden it dawned on me, there's, a, there's an automation language that lets us, lets us do all this stuff. So, you know, started writing stuff together, got really, really excited about it, and then I had a bunch of really awesome people in the community with like Matt Graber, uh, Chris Campbell, and different people, Carlos Perez, reached out to me and really kind of took me under their wing and showed me how to, you know, do proper coding practices and gave me lots of ideas and great feedback. Right now, I'm doing, doing lots of stuff. Um, I've, I've been, you know, using PowerShell on engagement for the last, you know, three straight years, pretty much. Uh, we even ended up writing, a, you know, a full remote access tool, you know, kind of a piece of semi-malware or simulated malware called PowerShell Empire. Uh, most recently, I actually have been using PowerShell with uh, Azure and DSC to build up training ranges for security training. So, auto, ways to automate up, you know, entire expanses, uh, expansive um, simulated kind of networks all in Azure. Uh, again, just using PowerShell. Uh, from the kind of offensive and defensive side, you know, I've been doing more stuff with uh, kind of really diving into some lower level like token privilege escalation, securable objects, and really kind of using PowerShell to help us, uh, me and some coworkers, automate some of the research that we're, we're trying to do from the security side. It's like, it's, you know, it's essential. It's pretty much required now to where I know when I started back in 2014, um, a lot of people were, you know, kind of resistant to PowerShell, especially in the security community. Uh, the community is very Python heavy focused, so a lot of people were very hesitant to really pick up PowerShell, uh, you know, kind of full time. But, you know, so for a couple of years, there's only a small handful of us in the security community, you know, maybe five or six that are using PowerShell heavily. But really in the last year, people realized, oh, this is huge, we should really, really you know, get into this. And the popularity has exploded with the number of projects. So if you do security now, I, I think it's almost a completely essential skill that you have to have to be able to use PowerShell. Really kind of the, the full power of its uh, ability, especially with DSC, which are some of the things that I went to. Uh, even using um, like management of nano server with Alexander's talk was awesome. Uh, and then, uh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, sorry, the, the jet lags, jet lags getting to me just a little bit. But, um, and I, I really like the keynote with Jeffrey about kind of talking about the transformative direction that they're trying to go with the architecture of the entire language. It was really awesome. This really is one of my favorite conferences uh, every year now. Last year is my first year, and then, you know, coming this year, it just reaffirmed it to where the community is so engaging. Everybody is so just excited and nice and just kind of like friendly and welcoming and inclusive to each other. So. We, I was talking with someone earlier today in the speaker lounge where they're saying, you know, you don't have to worry about like making a mistake or, you know, people kind of judging you and getting angry. It's, you can kind of go out on a limb, try some new things and like experiment with some stuff. And it really, really feels like a true community. Even though I'm in the United States, this, this feels almost more like a, uh, kind of more my community in, in some ways than even the U.S. side.